on, people? It's the Xbox 448. And guys, a storm is coming. A storm is a brewing. Um, man, there are going to be a lot of salty people out there today. Uh, guys, if you have been following me for a while, you know that I have been predicting that both Microsoft and Sony want to get into uh, streaming services basically as their gaming service and uh, it seems that today Microsoft uh, came out and announced something in this category actually announced this category basically uh, on their own website so Microsoft.com uh, official Microsoft blog came out and announced Project xCloud uh, guys project xCloud and basically what this is is the ability to play your games um, wherever you want on whatever device you want pretty much it, they're talking about you know tablets phones and, and stuff like that and the way that they are going to do it is on their Azure servers there are they are putting in these uh, tech blades that have basically the power of multiple Xbox One consoles, and they're putting them into their servers. Of course, they're starting, you know, with a certain number uh, in in certain regions and stuff like that, and and they're gonna have people test out their streaming service. So think about games like you're seeing right now with Forza Horizon 4 being able to be played on your phone with some type of like um kind of like uh controller attachment so this way your phone is right in front of your controller and, and you're playing playing the game um using your phone as the screen this is crazy guys and and you know in this article let me read some of this um Basically, first paragraphs like the future of gaming is a world where you are empowered to play the games you want with the people you want whenever you want wherever you want on any device you want and that is the key that that is what is uh, kind of like stirring in Twitter right now a lot of people have posted this article saying you know the death of xbox and all that good stuff in terms of hardware in terms of console saying that this is where microsoft is going but yo the joke's gonna be on these people because this is exactly where sony wants to go as well it just seems that microsoft has maybe two three steps uh forward you know um, they have two or three steps kind of like ahead of Sony when it comes to this stuff and of course having the uh, server farms man that is a huge huge bump when it comes to Microsoft now I don't want people getting nervous right now guys uh, don't don't get like don't get like yo what's gonna go on with the Xbox one or or Project Scarlet or, or anything like that because this is the preliminary stages what they're doing is they're gonna have people testing this service in 2019 so nothing this year going to the end of this year but in 2019 they're gonna have people start to test the service out and when they do that you know as they kind of uh, smooth out any bumps or anything like that they're gonna add the tech to more uh, more server farms in, in different regions and kind of spread it out like that um, really making sure that they they get rid of the hiccups and, and all that good stuff now a lot of people who are against this type of gaming talk about latency and it seems that Microsoft is really confident here that when it comes to latency um, they feel like this service can run on 4g uh, they feel like this service can really really kind of like jump ahead when the 5G service gets put out there and um, for people who don't know 5G it, you, it's gonna be crazy because they have like these small uh, 5G boxes that they're gonna put in random places throughout cities and towns and stuff like that put them up on your uh, um, like telephone poles and give people a, an insane amount of uh, Wi-Fi connection of 5G connection without um, a lot of those uh, 
I guess you could say like those those hot spots where where you know your internet is missing and, and stuff like that. They're really going all in on 5G and they really want to make it a thing and, and put put these boxes out there. Um, really strengthening your connection and your speed when it comes to your phone, your tablet, stuff like that. So this is not for like tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're not going to be like, oh, well, we're scrapping Scarlet and we're moving on. Uh, maybe a couple iterations of hardware into it. They might think about, you know, uh, not doing hardware so much anymore or basically maybe um, a cloud box or something like that. But as for right now, it, there's no reason for anybody to be concerned. Um, I'm just kind of smiling here looking at this article because this is exactly what I've been talking about. This is exactly what I've seen, you know, kind of like in development. And uh, Microsoft is out there first saying that they they are putting their, their service into a testing phase. Now, I got to ask you guys, what do you think about this? I know um, to a more kind of like traditional gamer, a more traditional console gamer, this might look like a, a bunch of bad news. But in my opinion, I mean, it's 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 where the industry was going. I, I've seen this. I, I've seen this kind of like evolve and, and start really getting in there. Um, you've heard Phil Spencer, other people from Xbox really talk about you know, bringing your games, playing your games wherever you want, you know, play anywhere where, where you can have your game that's on your Xbox console, on your PC as well. It's just, uh, it's just the direction that I saw them going. Um, I want to know what you guys think. Are, are you, are you sitting here? Are you ready to say that the sky is falling right now? Uh, are, are you excited about this in terms that you, you might be able to play games, say, like you're at work and on your lunch break, instead of like having a laptop or, or some other form of, of computer to play your game, you can sit there for a half hour on your lunch break and, and play a couple, a couple rounds of like Forza Horizon 4 or whatever games they have out, you know, at that point in time that you're into, you know, for that half hour, like in the middle of work or something like that um are, are you excited for a scenario where that can happen now like i said i feel like their end goal is streaming services and, and all that good stuff but like i said it's it's not coming soon it's it's coming this whole thing is going to get developed way before uh let's see some of my some of people who who kind of went against me on the streaming services said it's not even like 10 years out. I, I guarantee this is going to be fully kind of like fleshed out um, before 10 years. So 2019, before 2029, this, I, I feel like the structure of, of this service is going to be really strong. Um, but we'll, we'll have to see what, what happens. I mean, they can keep coming out with consoles afterwards. And, and like I said, if they really want to hang their hat on uh streaming games they can do it as like a cloud box or something like that to to keep kind of like the traditional gamers still going out and getting the hardware but i want to know what you guys think um as usual now i can see why they are focusing on controllers as well because at the end of the day if you get like this little arm where you have your your um your cell phone hooked up to your controller like that uh, to make it look like you know there's a, there's a screen there's your controller kind of like a handheld I can see why they would uh, focus on so many different controllers and stuff so some of the things are really starting to make sense now but definitely hit up the comment section I want to know what you guys think do you think Sony is right behind ready to do something like this as well with their uh, PS now um, or, or do you think Microsoft is really kind of taking the left turn while while PlayStation is taking a right turn? There's been some news on PlayStation as well. Uh, hopefully I'll get another video out. It's not streaming, so I didn't put it in this one. It, it is more about backwards and forwards compatibility. We did cover it a little bit on um, this past Saturday's uh, next podcast. So if you haven't checked that out, definitely check it out. But as usual, you know, if you like uh, the gameplay, you like the topic, definitely hit that thumbs up button because that helps out the channel incredibly. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. But as for now, this is the Xbox 448, and I am definitely signing off.
trying to get demons up out of me. Turn to a beast, eat your arteries. Deceasing opponents so properly. Unleashing the dark side, what got to me? We come to take this shit over.